Alright, so this got dropped on me by surprise, I'll admit. Dr. Mundo's rework has been revealed, all of his gameplay quirks, his model, his abilities, and his skin splashes, and you're probably wondering one important thing. Yes, they did make Dr. Mundo sexy. I'm gonna try and move past the questions of how this guy who is permanently consumed by substances and has had one too many bites of the chicken zinger jaw swinger finds time to get himself a sick fade. But still, champion reworks in League are always pretty solid, so let's do a quick rundown of everything that's gonna be happening and what we'll be doing over the next few days. So this is the reveal. I'm gonna do a commentary video on his actual gameplay shortly after this video goes live, so if you wanna bang on notifications for that one, I'm happy to give you a fix of some Mundo today. Um, as well as that, I have no idea, but I assume he's going to be appearing on the PBE, possibly later today if you're watching this video the day it goes out. So if you want to click the bell for that one or join me over on stream, then I'm chill with that too. If you're not already subscribed, then get ready because we're about to play rock, paper, scissors to see whether or not you're going to subscribe. Uh, and if you lose, you have to. Alright, ready? On three. One, two, three. Rock. If you lost, then get sub. If you didn't, then you still threw paper or rock at a guy on a screen. So let's be honest, you're my kind of person. Just as a heads up as well, this Mundo is going to be dropping patch 11.12. So probably about four weeks from now. But, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Regardless, on to Dr. Mundo's skins. So you can see what we're dealing with here. All the team splashes remain unchanged, so I've left them out. Frozen Prince, Pull Party, El Macho Mundo, and his TPA skin splashes have not been changed at all. But base skin, he looks kinda chad with a little fade, and the most important part of the skin is in the bottom right. Corporate Mundo is handing you a pink slip before he lets you go for investing all the company's money into cryptocurrencies. Rageborn Mundo looks even more like a Maghar orc from the World of Warcraft series, and I'm absolutely loving it. Toxic Mundo actually looks kinda great. Uh, and it's still probably just a recolor of his normal skin, but at least it isn't this. Mr. Mundoverse is still holding the title as the most swag skin uh, Mundo has, featuring another trash panda for some reason. And uh, Garen, Darius, Alali, and Braum are just chilling in the background. Mundo Mundo, I actually prefer him wearing the old mask of himself, but it's still goofy and that's totally fine. Executioner Mundo has been made more edgy, not nearly the bondage Mundo of yore, and not a single trash panda in sight, so 0 out of 10 on that one. All these skins will be available to buy again, even the legacy skins that have like fallen out of rotation. So during patch 11.12 and 11.13, if you don't have one, and you're, you're not, you aren't going to get another chance to buy some of these, so keep your eyes open. That's when Mundo releases It'll patch 11.12, which is probably like four weeks from now, I would assume, hopefully, maybe. Uh, now, anyway, regardless, on to his abilities. Mundo's new passive is goes where he pleases. He will resist the next immobilizing effect that hits him. Instead, he'll lose health and then he'll drop a chemical canister nearby. He can run and pick it up if he wants to, which will reduce a portion of this uh, this cooldown and also restore uh, some of his max HP. If enemies run over the canister, then it will be destroyed. And on top of this, Mundo will also get increased health regen based on his max HP from this passive. So think of it kind of like a cross between Malzahar's Null Sphere, where he can block a single instance of damage or block like a single spell. Uh, Poppy shield as well that bounces off of her and can be grabbed by like her or the enemy team that gives her the shield and also Zach's blobs that heal him whenever he picks him up uh, and also just a forewarning I know I compare champion abilities to other champions when I do videos like this um, and some people don't really like it when I do the rundowns this way but for newer players and for even old players alike uh, I know I'm showing stuff on screen, but I, I think it's also really cool and helpful to give you a couple of similar abilities so you can maybe ballpark what the ability can be used for or what kind of ballpark the ability is even in. Because sometimes, I, I mean, I have the things on screen here, but I may not explain them well. <laughs> like, Gwen's, Gwen's abilities were given to me incorrectly by Riot. And I had to help to pay for that one. From what I've seen of Mundo so far, I'm not entirely sure of his place as a jungler at like first glance anymore. Uh, I think he'd be probably fine, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But watching him lane top into champions like Malphite, who literally cannot proc this ability unless he uses her ultimate. Uh, which then gets blocked anyway by Mundo's passives, he's incredibly strong. Uh, in the background, there'll be some footage of uh, that game. And just take a look at how helpless Malphite is in this situation where he's he's trying to get some ganks going, he's trying to get some ulties going, and Mundo just does not care. 
Q is, of course, Mundo's Infected Cleaver. Or it's called Mundo's Infected Bone Saw now. Everybody's favourite ability and least favourite sound effect is completely unchanged as far as I can gauge. He throws his Q in a straight line, it deals magic damage to the first enemy it hits based on their current HP, and it slows them. There's really not much to say here if you've ever seen a Mundo in the last 11 years. You know the sound that it makes when it hits you, that it makes you cringe, and it's completely unchanged, although some of the sound effects may be slightly different nowadays. Mundo's W has, however, had some changes, and it's called Heart Zapper. Mundo electrocutes himself for a few seconds, dealing magic damage to all nearby enemies, and during this time, a portion of the damage he takes is turned into great health, similar to like Tam Kench. After the ability duration ends, he zaps every enemy around him, doing burst magic damage to nearby enemies, and healing his great health if a champion is hit. If only minions or monsters are hit by it, you get reduced healing for the great health, and if you hit nothing, you lose the great health entirely. Uh, this is an ability that makes me wonder if he's going to be able to be running the jungle anymore. This ability sits at like a 17 second cooldown level 1, uh, and it isn't like his OW where you can permanently channel it and clear camps at a decent speed. With Cleaver doing current HP damage, like current percent HP damage, uh, and W on such a long cooldown, it might actually have some issues cropping up with Mundo on his jungle clear. That being said, I have no idea on the increased AD that his E gives and the, like, the, the increased regen that his passive gives. Because the rioter recording the footage for us literally, like, has his rune page up the entire game, and I cannot see even a little bit of what his E is actually giving him, <laughs> or his ult E is actually giving him. Mundo's E, however, is Blunt Force Trauma. Its passive is that Mundo gains bonus attack damage, increasing based on missing health. Instead of the old passive that gives him uh, increased magic resistance for taking damage from others or from his own abilities, the active of his old E has now been baked straight into the passive of the new E, and I'm kind of loving it. Uh, Mundo's AD is completely absurd when he used to use his old E, and, and it's going to create some really fantastic moments where Mundo is kind of low, but then he has more AD than a full build Jin. This is undoubtedly going to cause a problem though uh, when he is stacked to the rafters with tank aims. So, we'll see how that goes. But the active on this ability as well is that Mundo slams his medic medical bag into an enemy, dealing physical damage based on his missing health. If the enemy dies, they're bonked away, and they deal more damage to any enemies that the bonked enemy passes through. Uh, seems kind of built for laning to me, kind of like uh, Scion's E. Comment down below if you disagree, by the way, because I'm genuinely curious, but this is screaming we've made Mundo a laner to me, um, as opposed to him being like in the jungle where he usually is. Still, Woe HP Mundo is going to be a scary lad if the enemy is coming into melee range of him. Looking forward to seeing just how scary he is. Also, I have no idea uh, if you bonk champions when you kill them with E as well. Don't seem to have any footage of that happening, but it would be very hilarious if that is the case. It just says enemies get knocked away. Could be champions too. Can I knock Baron away if I kill it with my E? I have no idea. Absolutely, also, I'm really sorry that I can't get you, like, better numbers on this as well. But, like, I could ballpark numbers if the footage did not have his rune page on the screen the whole time. His ultimate, though, is maximum dosage. He pumps himself full of chemicals, tears his shirt off, and instantly heals for a percentage of his missing health. He then heals a portion of his max HP over time, gaining bonus movement speed and attack damage whilst healing. At the end of this duration he magically grows another shirt and nobody comments on it so basically the same as his old ultimate except the one different factor uh with it apart from the fact that he now gets ad uh is that it used to on mundo's old ultimate it used to chunk him for a portion of his hp meaning that if mundo was low and popped ultimate you had like this extra second of chance to potentially burst him down before it like got to it at hand in this case, Mundo R uh, immediately heals him, apparently having, I, I, I would assume it has no health cost for the ability as well. The extra AD buff is also a new one, um, and I honestly, I wish I could comment on how much AD it gives when you ulti, but as I've already stated, the Ryder playing spent the entire game making sure I knew exactly how much damage Grasp of the Undying was doing, uh, but... I don't even know what their base armor or magic resist was. <laughs> so it is what it is. Still though, um, 
they've definitely made like uh, it's going to be a weird one because Mundo for a, a while was a super duper like oppressive champion that did a lot of damage and also was impossible to kill. I don't know whether or not they seem to be leaning more into like he's a juggernaut kind of thing now as opposed to like he's a straight up tank. Um, seems like he's going to be building a lot of uh, health like Sterex items. Maybe, I don't, maybe Black Cleaver, I have no idea. Um, Sunfire Aegis, presumably as well. Items that are going to give him as much HP as possible. That they may not, like, I mean, with his W, I'm thinking there's some, like, mathematically correct stuff you could do there. Where you're intentionally keeping your, uh, you're intentionally keeping your, your resistances low so that you can do a bunch of damage with your W. Or heal a bunch with your W, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, in my head, Mundo has been turned into a laner. Um, probably, well, I would presume top laner. I don't really know how he will cut it, but I'm in, excited to see how he does. I, I, I'm obviously like a big fan of Mundo. Mundo is one of the first champions I ever played in League. And they made him sexy. I, like, I don't... Anyway. Hope you got your intel. Thank you for choosing me over the probably 100 other videos that have appeared in the last like 50 seconds if you watch this on launch. Um, I really appreciate it. You coming to me to learn more about Dr. Mundo and his rework. I will see you soon. He'll be on the PBE soon. If you don't have access to PBE, he'll be on the main servers in like about four weeks and you can give him a shot then. He'll probably be Pecker Ban though. Uh, although it depends on what his E numbers and his AD numbers are. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe to the channel, etc, and I'll see you all there. Bye!